I L sin theta. You know, we have said all this. This is your what? Uh, your magnetic field. Your I is your point. Your L is the length. Force on a moving charge in a what? In magnetic field. Do you understand? This is just the general force under electro what? Magnetic field. Now, force on the moving charge now. What is the formula? For the force on the moving charge, you have what we call um, your QV, QVB sin theta. Hope you are saying it. So that would be the force on, your, on the moving charge. Now let's look at this particular question. The example there says a force F is on a charge plus 2Q plus 2 micro column. Moving with the velocity of 2 times 10 to the power 6 meter per second. That's the velocity. Remember, our formula is QVB. Now, it has a magnetic field. In the field flux, it has a fluid flux density 0.5. So that's your B, 0.5 Tesla. We so calculate the force on the field. So we are looking at F, which equals what? QVB sine theta. Now, look at those two statements. Say it's number one, when it is parallel to the field. If it's parallel to the field, your sine theta. I mean, this would be sine zero. And what's, before you know it, your force will be what? Zero. Hope you are getting it now. But when it is um, perpendicular to the field, you have your sine 90. Your sine 90 is one. So from there, your F, Q, V, B, sine what? 90. You just insert those values. Your Q, which is two. That's two exponential minus six. So you just insert your Q here. Your velocity, which is um, where's the velocity? Yeah, two two exponential six. You put it here. Then your what? Tesla. O point what? You put your 0 0.5 Tesla. You put it in here, and you what? Compute. You be able to obtain. to your electromagnetic flux induction this new subtopic now under our electromagnetic flux induction what are we talking about we are trying to induce induction means to to fix something in we are trying to induce so for why you not have electromagnetic induction you are trying to induce flux you understand in a word in an electromagnet what is an electromagnet an electromagnet is what any material that has the effect, I mean, that has properties of what? Electric, electrical material and what? Magnetic material combined to be one. So that particular type of material is an electromagnetic material. So at this junction now, this is what we are trying to do. We are trying to what? In, in, induce, you understand? Induce flux. Do you understand? Now, you want to induce electromagnetic properties in terms of flux into what? A part of a, a, a material. Now, if you check out the diagram we have there, that diagram is actually a diagram of the transformer. Look at it. You have something like this. If you, have, if you must be going through your, the transformer that is actually being placed uh, in your house or, uh, I mean, at your street, this is just what it entails. We have what we call the step down transformer and we have what we call the step up transformer. So if you have something like this, now this region, from the diagram there, we have what we call your VE. Now, at the diagram here, at this other junction, we have, you have your bulb here. Now, it's going to light up your bulb. Now, this is when the what? Uh, at this region, flux has now been induced. Now, if the flux is induced, it will what? Bring out current electricity. Now, at this junction, now, what do we do? We need to understand what, what we're actually what, talking about before you analyze this one diagram. Now, let's continue. Now, if the magnet, magnetic flux through a core is altered, then an electromagnetic force will be what generated in the coil. Now Faraday discovered that EMF must what uh, uh, could be what generated by one either moving the coil or the source of the real, the source of the flux relative to each other or two changing the magnitude of the source of the flux. If you have two magnets, let me see. You have something like this. I want you to understand what this uh, particular topic is talking about now. 
You have your north here, you have your south. There is tendency for these two magnets to attract. Right? Now, you now decide to take a coin. This is a coin. If I say coin, if you want to know what a coin or what coins are, just go through uh go to the internal section of your world, radio. You understand? You see where you see a particular body, we used to call it a transformer. It's like this. They will wind it this way, whereby this particular one is probably uh let me say uh oranges. I think it's orange. The color should be orange. Now it's being wound across a particular body. Now this particular body is green. This section is green. Then we have this as orange. Now anybody, any particular object you see in your world, radio or any material, or any device you are using, just lose it and see. You see that that particular that type of material is called a transformer. What does it do? It tells you what reduce the total voltage that is coming to your device so that the device doesn't get bored. If your transformer in your device is not working, then every current will become every voltage will be coming to your device and you can burn it down. So the function of the transformer is to help to what bring down the what the incoming voltage in your entire device so that it doesn't get burnt. Now let's come back here. So it seems you now get the actual color of a coin now. So it is that those type of coins that will actually be used to what make this particular what, object here. Now what's the function of the object? Let me give it to you so that you understand even in your the invisible connection I spoke about. That's your what? Your flux. We call it magnetic flux. It is without flux that what? Two magnets will want to what? Attract. Now, when you now have a coil in between, now what does this coil do? It's trying to cut that flux. Now, when you put two magnets together and you put a what? A coil in between to what? Rotate. You understand? To rotate it. To actually cut this flux, two things are involved. Flaming is one. Flaming. There is a man. There is a scientist who call flaming. Is one that the the, the uh, divide flaming's left hand rule. It's a law too. You understand? Flaming's left hand rule and flaming's right hand rule. She understand? Now when we get there, we are going to what? Expansion on it. Now what are we saying? When you use this coil. You, you turn it in terms of motion to cut this flux. Two things are involved. You are cutting flux. Do you understand? At the same time, you are running motion. You understand? I'm not talking about you moving on both directions. Let's say you are moving on the, uh, clockwise. You move this clockwise clockwise and you move. By the time you move it continuously, the flux you are cutting here, two things are involved. EMF will be generated, PD. Potential difference will be generated because you cut this flux. Now, if you continuously cut the flux, potential difference will be generated. And before you know it, this potential difference that is generated will, will fall back to the movement of this coil, thereby making this coil to what? Continuously rotate. You know, if this is to be your generator, this is the probably the rope you wind. You understand? Now, maybe you wind. What you are actually trying to do, you are inducing. Inside the uh, mechanical structure of your generator, there is what we call the magnets. You understand? The magnets, they've been designed in such a way that you have a coil in between. Now, this coil is what we call the rotor. It rotates. Why these two bars of magnets are what we call what? your starter. Your starters are always your permanent. Your rotors rotate. In some design, it is the what? It is the coil that is what? Static. Do you understand? The coil is what? Static is also is stable. Why it is the magnet that what that rotates whichever way by the time it rotates, voltage will be induced at the end of this coil. Now the voltage that is induced will now come back to actually what make constant the movement of this what of this coil. So you maybe there is constant movement of this coil. Two things are involved: PDF is being generated and a, a, a backward motion is actually being generated from this coil. From there. EMF will be what induced. When you proceed, you will definitely understand what um, what I'm actually trying to say. From that, at this juncture, it will still be looking like magic. But when you proceed and you be able to get what uh, how your generators is actually being designed, like in your generator now, there are two sections. We have what we call the mechanical section, and we have what we call the electrical section. It is in the mechanical section that you put your fuel. You understand whether it's diesel, 
shake it, whether it's diesel or your PMS. That's what we call petrol. Check when you put your diesel, you put your fuel, you make sure you check your oil. That's your lubricating oil. You understand? Now all you just need is for what? Is to allow movement of what? This what? Uh mechanical section, you know, your the rotor here. You understand? In your what? Mechanical design. All you just need to do is to make sure there is constant movement. Now a belt will now be tied. You understand? It will be connected to the electrical section. Now the, at the electrical section, what do you have? What what they call it is alternator. You understand? You have the alternator. So it is in this alternator that what? PDF. I mean, potential difference is being generated. Now the volt that comes into your house for usage is being generated by the alternator. But what actually brings about the motion is the mechanical section. So the belt will now rotate. So the mechanism in this alternator is what I'm actually trying to explain. What you have in your generator, you have your coil, you have your magnet, and you have your what? Uh, 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 current brushes. We call it current brush. Now, those brushes are the ones that help to what? Generate those uh, potential difference. So, when the potential difference is now being generated, it will now send it to your what? To the little transformer, which now what? Try to regulate. Which is now the same for what consumption. So these are what we are actually going to be looking at in this section. So just just relax and see how it, they are all being broken down. Now note, EMF is only produced why the why the flux is changing. Remember, EMF will only be produced. That's the potential difference to be produced at this section because the flux are what changing. In this alternator, there is what there are magnets which who, who want to what, always attract. But there is a coil in between that breaks that force of attraction, that's the flux, so that EMF will not be produced. Let's proceed. Now, let's look at Faraday's.